uh, the price gaps down here. If the price should gap down here, it means that there's strong selling activity, and selling orders have been building up and entered before the market opens. This usually means there's a higher probability of being profitable in the short trade if your order is filled. If it gaps down to here, it trades back up to your entry price of 40, 40, uh, 43.70. You short the stock at that position. Generally, you'll be in a, there will be actually a much better trade for you if your position is filled. And because of the selling pressure on the stock, uh, the stock will continue and hit one or more of your profit targets. If the price does not come back up to your entry price, do not chase the trade. Let it go. There's always going to be another trade. Now on the opposite end, if the, uh, if the uh, stock should gap higher, actually as it did in this example, the stock actually did gap higher than your entry price. However, it traded back down into our entry price at 44.58 in which we got filled. This is a uh, scenario which it, you could have a high prof probability of profit, in fact, if this did happen. In this case, we did hit one or more of our profit targets, even though the, gap, the stock gapped higher the very next day that we were looking to enter the position. If the stock gaps higher and does not come back to fill our entry at 44.58, do not chase the trade. Let it go. Like I said, there's always going to be another trade. Now let's take a look at some examples in different uh, stocks. That some, some I've traded, some I haven't, but we can take a look at some examples of how exactly to identify an inside day, how we're going to trade it, and uh, take a look at some examples. Now, in this particular inside day here, as you can see, uh, this is kind of interesting because the actually the range of this particular inside day bar was fairly wide. It was over 80% of the previous day's bar. And normally I don't like to trade those. However, it did have a spinning top. I mean, it was, it was a fairly narrow body here. And generally what happens is with a narrow body in candlestick terms, uh, there's a potential change of trend. And uh, if you... If you take a look at this particular chart, you can see there was an uptrend. There was a pullback here with a gap below, uh, gap below this particular bar here. Uh, general, sometimes that provides uh, resistance. Sometimes it provides support. Sometimes those gaps need to be filled. But in any case, I felt there was enough of a downturn in this stock at fairly high volume that maybe maybe there was a snap coming back. So I decided to trade this particular inside bar with an entry at $70.54, which was just one penny higher than the, the inside bar that's here. Uh, it hit profit target uh, number one uh, almost immediately on day two, or I'm sorry, on day three, because day one is our inside day, day two is the next day, which we entered the position. On day three, we hit profit target number one. We never got to profit target number uh, two, but on day one, two, three, and four, uh, we would have exited on the open of day four, which is right in here, very close to our profit target number one on the remaining position. Um, after that, it sold off quite dramatically. And a lot of times, uh, here's a little bit of a nuance for uh, those who are really interested in trading inside days, is that sometimes inside days, if you extend uh, the highs and lows, they provide, uh, sometimes they provide support, sometimes they provide resistance. But a lot of times, uh, stocks will trade around these areas. For example, as it went up and it hit our profit target, it started to come back down again following the, the, uh, the trend that was started back here. And it actually sold off rather dramatically. Aggressive traders may extend these, extend these uh, channels a little bit further and take positions as they close below these channels after several days of being out of your initial trade. Uh, sometimes those can be very, very profitable trades. Uh, let's take a look at some other uh, examples here. Let's say, let's, let's pick one that we really haven't picked up on yet. Oh, here's one in particular that looks like a, an inside day that we could take a look at. Uh, if you take a look at this chart here, you can see there's one inside day right here. And that looks like a fairly good trading opportunity, and it probably would have been a very good uh, trading opportunity at the time. All we have to do is set up our channels on the stock, 
take a look at our entry, which would be at uh, the high of this particular inside bar was $71.10. We would have entered at 71.11, which we would have gotten filled the very next day as it did trade down to as low as 71.05. We would have hit our profit target, probably profit target number one right around in here. Uh, we would have hit another profit target maybe up in here. And then our third profit target probably would have been up in here. So we would have hit all three profit targets on this particular inside day. Uh, let's take a look at some other examples here. Um, here's a pin side day here. It also has a small real body. We could go ahead and draw our channel on that. All we do is stop, start at the top of the bar. Let's draw it all the way across just to kind of give, give a sense of how sometimes important these inside days are. Uh, this particular inside day, um, you can see that it has a lower high than the previous bar, and it has a higher low than the previous bar. So it does, you know, qualify as an inside day. Uh, we would have gone long just above the high here, which was 67.97. We would have gone long at 67.98. It never uh, broke the low of this particular day, so we would have gotten filled right in here. Um, right around 67.98. Uh, first tar profit target probably would have been someplace right in here. Second profit target probably right in here. We would have hit two profit targets. We would have had day one, day two, day three, day four. We would have gotten out at the open on this particular day. Uh, so we would that would have been a, a very successful, profitable trade. Now take a look at this inside day, and if you take a look at the channel that we've drawn across here. We've just extended it. It turned out that the high of this inside day was also support for this particular bar here in which the the, uh, the trade actually, uh, uh, the stock actually at that point started trading higher. So it can act as uh, resistance and support. Uh, uh, let's take a look at some other examples. Uh, this does not qualify as an inside day. I started looking at this, but it does have a higher high than this particular day in front of it. Uh, let's take a look at another inside day here. That's not an inside day. That's not an inside day. Uh, they're fairly frequent, and you can find them, but, uh, you know, you just have to kind of go through it. Pretty soon you get pretty, you know, you, you'll have a very, very, very good uh, grasp and understanding of the inside days. Here's an inside day here. It does have a fairly wide uh, body. It's probably 60% of the previous bar. But it turned out to be a good trade. Uh, we went long here. We exited. Uh, our first profit target was right in here around 83.12. So we got a little bit over um, the high of that bar was 81.74. We would have gone long at 81.75. So we got a, about a point and a half here in our uh, first profit target. As I mentioned, um, this provides some, sometimes it provides support and resistance points. Uh, the trade actually did start to come down a little bit. It broke through here. Um, and upon re-entry into this 25% area, you could have gone short again and then exited, you know, someplace down in here. Uh, actually, it traded back up into this area again and then sold off dramatically after that. Um, let's take a look at some more recent ones here. Uh, this was really a good trade. Uh, the high on this particular inside day was 68.38. We could have gone long at 68.39. Uh, we would have hit uh, at least one or two potentially. Pro we hit uh, profit target one, profit target two on the, on the same day. Uh, this is day one, day two, day three, day four. We would have exited at the open on day four. So we would have hit a couple of different profit targets on that one. Uh, this profit, this this target here actually turned out to be a fake out. Uh, it went higher and then it gapped lower, uh, taking us out of the trade here, and that one didn't work out so well. Uh, let's take a look at some other stocks here. Uh, just at random, let's take a look at Starbucks for a second. Let's see if there are any particularly good opportunities here. Uh, here's one trade that was uh, quite nice. Uh, nice, nice long red bar here, although the, the size of the bar preceding the inside day doesn't really matter. I have noticed that the if it has a large real body uh, and then a small real body afterwards, it se the, the trades tend to see 
to be a little bit better in quality. In this particular trade, uh, we hit our entry at $17.44. Uh, it traded down. It hit uh, target number one. It didn't hit target number two. This low right here turned out to be $16.88, and our target was $16.82. You could have, you know, anticipated maybe that it wasn't going to hold that low or go any lower at that point and could have exited your position. Uh, otherwise, you would have exited at the open here uh, on day four on your position. Uh, let, uh, let's see what else we can find here. Let's go over to SanDisk. And uh, there was a profitable situation back here in January. Um, I'm sure there's many more. Uh, sometimes I get bored of a stock and I move on to other ones. But this in, in this particular day, we had a uh, fairly wide bar here, but it has small real body followed by a small real body uh, narrow uh, inside day bar. And uh, our entry was here at 28.74. Uh, the very next day, it hit our target number one. Uh, the very next day after that, it hit our target number two. At that point, the stock started selling off, and uh, it would probably would have been a, a good idea if you did see this particular day sell off to exit your position at the close of that day when you see that kind of a reversal going on because you really want the uh, price to continue in the direction uh, of your trade. And if it doesn't, and if it reverses below, many times what I'll do is I'll set 50% of this bar here. So in other words, if I get an entry here and I've got a nice large bar here where I, I hit my first target, I'm going to set 50% of that bar as my target uh, not to go below. But it did hit our target number two. So if you had multiple shares, for example, on this trade, or if I was doing this trade, I would sell five, 500 shares at 29.79, and then uh, I would uh, sell out the remaining half of the shares at, at 200, 250 shares at 3082, and then as it started pulling back about around 50% of this white bar here, uh, I would sell uh, the remaining 250 shares. So that turned out to be a very profitable trade. Uh, let's take a look at some other trades, uh, including some other stocks. Uh, let's take a look at a really high flyer. Um, like Potash, which is a, uh, a very high price stock. Um, normally, I found that, uh, that you get a lot more uh, and you get much better signals and setups on trades on stocks between 40, uh, between 20 and 40, maybe even $60 is fine. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, just in case you like to trade uh, higher price stocks. Uh, this one in particular, it looks like there's a um, inside day right in here. Uh, all we have to do is go in and take our channel line, uh, set these up at the high and low of the inside day. In this particular instance, uh, we would have entered a short position right here, which was a low, which is one cent lower than the low of this particular inside day, <coughs> or we would have gone short at. Um, 177.71, and right now it's at 170.20. So you can use different types of stocks. You can use uh, you can use high price stocks. You can pr use low price stocks. It doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at Nvidia. Uh, this stock has been all, absolutely all over the map. Let's take a look and see if we can find any inside days on this particular stock. Uh, let's see, we'll go back here to July of 2007 and see if we can find any setups here. Uh, I think there's one right here. We had a long red body, and we have a small uh, small body uh, inside day right here. We can set up our uh, channel lines right in here. Now remember, for these particular trades, we don't care if the stock goes up or down after our entry because uh, we have orders on both sides. In this case, we had a long red bar. We had a small uh, white bar following it, which is our inside day. We would have gone long right in here, which is just above our high price. 
on our inside day at 2.30.